Two News reporter Sarah Goldenberg is live in Bartlesville with the latest. Sarah? Karen, police arrested Fiddler in connection with what they're calling a suspicious death of her baby daughter, Maggie May. They also served several search warrants for this apartment where the baby was found. It is. It's the worst thing I could imagine. It's stuff with nightmares. Thursday night, a mother and her aunt call 911. They say they found 10-day-old Maggie May dead in their washing machine. Uh, words to the effect that my aunt killed my baby. We could hear a woman in the background saying, I didn't kill your baby, you killed your baby. The aunt apparently came to the house, heard the washing machine going, and it was out of balance, so it was banging against the wall. Went in to the room to investigate, lifted the lid, turning off the machine. I went and I looked in that washer. And Maggie was in there. Maggie was in there. Maggie's great aunt, Rhonda Koshat, says she was home with the baby, her mother, and the mother's two young boys in their upstairs apartment at the time. Koshat told police the last time she saw the baby alive was when Fiddler was feeding her. She was 10 days old. Maggie May. Koshat told police Fiddler had been up for three days using meth before the baby was found dead. I've been doing this for 40 years. I've never seen anything like this. I've never even heard of anything like this. I have a lot of police officers that uh, we see a lot, but this is a tough one. Most of us are dads or grandfathers. Now, police have turned over evidence to the OSBI. They are still waiting on the coroner's report. Meanwhile, family members have taken custody of Fiddler's two boys for now. Live in Bartlesville, Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you. All right, Sarah, and we will, of course, continue to follow that story.